Hi, my name is Brittany Kulik, and I graduated from Coppell High School in 2004. Before I share who I am and what I do today, let me tell you a little about who I was back then. I was in Vivace and Madrigals my senior year, and I cheered competitively and at CHS until sophomore year, which may lead you to believe that I was outgoing, but that couldn't have been further from the truth. I was regularly described as shy and quiet. When you're with the same people from elementary school through high school, it can be easy to get stuck with labels, even when they don't fit anymore. I went to college in Tennessee, and I actually argued with the first person who called me outgoing. But I embraced this new label, which fit a whole lot better than the shy and quiet one, and I became president of my sorority and secretary of the junior class council. I graduated with a degree in marketing, but tried out music business and social work too. After graduation, I worked as a preschool teacher, event manager, a wedding coordinator, concierge, and I eventually spent five years as director of communications at a Christian ministry here in Dallas. In my schooling and my career, I always followed opportunity and passion. I worked hard at every job and I took skills learned from previous careers into my current one. In 2015, I took the biggest leap of my life. I realized that my opportunity to travel on a working holiday visa was dwindling. They end at 30, but my passion has always been travel. So I learned how to use WordPress, I built a website, and the Sweet Wanderlust was born. I love desserts and adrenaline-fueled activities, so I created a space for people with a sweet tooth and a taste for adventure. By August of 2015, I'd quit my job, sold everything I owned, and boarded a one-way flight to Madrid for what was supposed to be a two-year trip. I volunteered on grape and olive harvests in Italy. I worked in a cupcake shop in Queenstown, New Zealand, at a luxury travel agency in Melbourne, Australia, and at a Nashville-themed restaurant in Western Australia. The whole time, I was building my brand and my following on my travel blog, and I was starting to get some really exciting opportunities. To name a few, the government of Kerala, India flew me and 25 other bloggers in for a two-week around-the-state trip to write about cruising the backwaters and hiking in the mountains. And Queenstown.com sent me to try and review all of the bungee jumps in town. For three years, I partnered with a tourism board in Japan to judge their inbound tourism awards. When I was in Japan in 2019, they invited me to travel through some areas that most tourists don't get to see so I could write about it and encourage Western tourism. I even got to speak at their Inbound Tourism Summit, offering insight on tourism in their region from a Western perspective. Not bad for the shy girl, huh? I was leading my first group tour in Israel when COVID hit, and now I'm back in Texas, reinventing myself once more as I build a business as a copywriter. I'm setting my own hours and taking on writing projects that I enjoy. My definition of success has changed drastically over the years. What was once defined by salary and the status of driving a cute convertible and carrying designer purses has morphed into a definition that's a whole lot more valuable. I've had years when I made a great salary, and I've had times when I lived in a 21-person house share. And you know what? I'd trade the salary for the sense of community any day. My friends and I shared life together, which happens when you all share three bathrooms, and home became a place where everyone belonged. These days, success to me is how I'm able to make people feel. I'm never going to change the world, but I hope that I'll change the lives of those I meet for the better. And I hope that you will be so moved by the power of friendship and belonging that you learn to define success similarly. When you realize that there's room for everyone at the table, you'll find that there's freedom to be kind, generous, and encouraging to every person that you meet. As you're watching today, you've likely got some big decisions ahead. What will you do after high school? Where will you attend college? What will you study? Those are big decisions, but they shouldn't be daunting. I've learned that life is never as set in stone as it may seem at 18. Follow your curiosity, follow your passion, and know that the person you are today is a constant work in progress. Surround yourself with people who see not only who you are right now, but who you can become.